Hi, this is Justin Bergner, Industrials Analyst for GDOT Research. We recently wrote up Timken as our best idea for 2020. Timken is the largest North American bearings manufacturer with an adjacent presence in mechanical power transmission products, serving a variety of industrial and transportation end markets. Timken combines a top-notch management team that is executing on growth, operation strategy, and financial performance with a compelling valuation and multi-year stock underperformance. Its competitive set is fairly mediocre, including SKF of Sweden and NSK of Japan. From 2015 to 2019, Timken more than doubled its earnings power from approximately $2 to $4.70 per share, yet the stock price has only increased at a 7% plus CAGR versus 11% plus for the XLI Industrial ETF and 12% for the S&P. Timken now trades at a modest 13 times 2020 earnings and 9 times EBITDA. The company generates nearly $375 million of free cash flow versus a $4.5 billion market capitalization. And its PE is over a half turn discount to Caterpillar despite superior execution, higher aftermarket exposure, and lower cyclicality of M markets. We view Timken as a quality cyclical based on 45% aftermarket exposure and healthy mid teen operating margins that have grown 300 basis points in the last five years. Competitor SKF's 11.5% margin has held flat over the last five years. Capital deployment, deployment has also impressed, with Timken deploying over $1 billion in the last two and a half years into acquisitions, the three major ones of which are tracking at or above plan. And operations have been very solid under Group President Chris Coughlin, a CEO caliber executive in his own right. Timken can become a 10% total return stock as markets recover from the current industrial doldrums. Post-2020, we forecast 3% organic sales growth, including 100 basis points of outgrowth, 8% earning growth, and a 2% current return. Capital deployment shifting to repurchases de-risks the stock. While there is recessionary risk given Timken's cyclicality, the stock's valuation seems to reflect some of this risk. In an expensive stock market, Timken remains an attractive buy, trading at a 25% discount to our $78 2021 private market value. The current bottoming of short cycle industrial activity is typically a good time to own a name like Timken. Why not make it our best idea for 2020?